Sharky Breath. He plays video games. Hello there, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I was just doing some inventory management off camera because that's boring. And it occurred to me, I never mentioned, in case anyone's playing along at home, there's a vendor on the bridge in Meridian where you can buy a, uh, well here, you can buy this. A golden fast travel pack, and then you can, you don't have to worry about making travel packs to travel around instantaneously. So yeah, do that thing. It's very useful for this sort of scenario when, when traveling on foot, it would probably be boring for anybody watching, for example. Now then, let's get into this here site. Seeing as I'm... What is that noise? Is that thunder? During a snowstorm? I can't be. It's, there's gotta be something going on. What is that? An explosion. Deathbringer. Deathbringer. That doesn't sound good. Okay, so Deathbringer is over there and is exploding things? That's a good start. That's a lovely start. Okay, real quick, I'm just gonna snag whatever this is. Thunderheads, cool. Thunderhead special. Let me let me just let me just look at that. Distract myself from the explosions. Hmm. A sports team. It looks like a lion. Why you call it a thunderhead? I don't get it. All right. Doesn't matter. Keep going. Ooh, that's new music. That is new music, friend. Okay. 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 Let's get where I can actually see this thing. But I'm what? Yeah, no kidding. Let's get where I can actually see the thing that I'm about to get into a tussle with. Which is named for bringing death, specifically. Seems like a great idea. Oh, good. Oh, good. Here we go. Is it right there? Is it right there? Oh. Oh. It's a, it's just a cannon. Is it an intelligent cannon? Like a living cannon? What are they attacking? How come I couldn't see you guys before? Another one, you say? I'm glad I have subtitles on, because I definitely can't hear you over that thing. Yeah, no kidding. It says so in my, in my, uh, focus and everything. I can't even see the tower you're talking about, but yeah, you're probably right. It's pointing right at it, question mark. I can't tell what you're trying to get to, honestly. Well, like, oh, the yellow thing behind it, of course. That makes sense. Well, okay. Okay. Let's just see what we can do about this here. Let's take out this first. Maybe somebody will notice that, maybe they won't. But it certainly helps me, so it's a start. Where did the other Watcher go? There were two, right? Oh, hey, huh, there's guys over here, too. Maybe I should do something about that, huh? Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Right there. Thank you. Let me get my focus back real quick, and... Right... There. Thank you again for wearing glowy white masks that I can see from great distances. It's very useful. Okay. Oh, there's the other watcher. Okay, cool. His path leads him kind of round and about. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, hang on just hang on just a just a freaking second, okay? Let me just let me just let me just see what uh Okay. On Earth ancient weapon platform built to deliver overwhelming force, prone to overheating. Okay, so weak against fire and shock. That's good to know. Strong against corruption. I haven't been trying to do that anyway. He's got a repeater cannon. Cooling rods. Okay, so they overheat faster if you destroy those. Weakness against everything. Cool. Core pops out when it overheats. Causes massive damage. Well, we saw how well that worked against the corruptor. <laughs> okay, flamethrower. Grenade launcher. Heat vents. Hmm. Exposed when the machine overheats. Again. Got it. Gun turret, swarm launcher, stabilizers for standing up. Makes sense. Make it fall over. Seems like a good idea. Heavy cannon turret. Destroying this component. It doesn't even glow. How do you expect me to... I guess it's the giant gun out front, huh? <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, that's fine. 
All right. So those blue things up front are the eyes, as usual. Got it. Got it. So how do I work my way around this thing without drawing the ire of absolutely everybody in the area? I want to try and sneak up on this thing, is the thing here. Okay, okay. Why is that one guy damaged, incidentally? I didn't do that, so what's going on? Okay, you're facing me right now. That's interesting. If I shoot you right now, you will die, and everyone will notice. Oh, in fact, you can see me. That's cool. That's cool. I guess watching is your whole entire job and job title and the whole nine yards, so I guess I should not be surprised at this. Okay. Uh, yes, hello? Why are you making noises at me? Okay, you right there. Oh, come on, Post. Come on, Post, get out of my way. What, why are you running? Did you run specifically to ruin my day? Because it worked. It worked. Okay, okay, okay. No! No, okay, everybody noticed. Everybody noticed. That's not good. No, nobody noticed. But it thought everybody did. Kind of like that one time when I almost got spotted and then Olin decided to start a one-man coup against all the cultists. It's the same situation. The game thought the alarm was triggered and it wasn't, and so... Well, fortunately, in this case, it hasn't seemed to make any difference, so that's great. Okay. Only a couple more cultists left. I feel like taking out all the distractions first is a great idea. Also, the high ground. Let's go with the high ground, eh? Now that I've apparently eliminated everybody who is up here. Just take your stuff, excuse me. Take in your stuff, take in your stuff, so I can stall about attacking your giant robot. Um, why is this a different, you, a completely different thing over here? What's going on? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, you noticed the corpse, don't notice the corpse. I don't like it when you notice the corpses. Oh, oh hey, the Deathbringer sees me. Disabled who's focus? Steam's blasting out. I wonder if those are weak ones. Okay, so the Deathbringer knows where I am somehow. Somehow the Deathbringer knows where I am. Let's uh go ahead and get down then. Let's go ahead and get into the into the nice concealing grass rushes. Yeah, you can shoot that all you want. It will not do you any good. I'm gonna just kill you. I just climbed up your face in order to kill you, which was pretty cool, I gotta say. All right, all right. So that guy, he doesn't see me for the moment. Somehow. How did you see me when I was up behind a behind a ridge on the on the walkways? Do you just have like motion detectors up there? Cause cheating. Okay. Oh, you never saw me in the first place. So what are you even talking about? There, your head is gone. Your head is gone, and I feel better. Okay. So all we have left now is you. Now. What are we gonna do about this? Oh, 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 that's right. Okay, so I opened up the boxes that I had in my inventory, all my treasure boxes that I hadn't actually opened, and one of them had this in it. It's a terror blaster. It's for, it's specifically for ripping off components. So I suppose I could try, let's put that in here instead of the trip caster. Er, yeah, I feel like I'm not gonna be able to trip cast against this stationary cannon. So yeah, that seems like a solid call. All right, let's get over here so he doesn't know where I am. Don't have much cover out here, but I think it'll be okay. Okay. Now, what am I trying to knock off here? He's got cannons on all sides, but eyes on only one, which seems weird. Oh no, oh he sees me. Okay, never mind. Eyes on all sides, got it, got it. I misunderstood, I misunderstood, and you have lit me on fire. I guess I deserved it. Oh, we can move. Oh, I overheated it pretty good though. What? What did I do? How did that happen? He's overheating. Great. Cool. What happened? Okay. Oh, 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 how did... How are you detecting me? You specifically can't see me. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Um... Sheesh. Okay, let's try and knock that off. That didn't work. Something fell off, but it wasn't what I wanted. Get off! Okay, I missed. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There! That's that's not gonna fall off easily, is it? Probably not. How about that one? Let's get rid of that one, then. How about that? How does that suit you? He doesn't care. He doesn't care. 
but he can't shoot me from here for some reason, so let's just continue trying to knock it off. It's yeah, apparently. No, it's not. It's right there, Aloy. What are you talking about? This isn't working at all. Oh, he's overheated again. I guess they did say it overheats easily, didn't they? Okay, so maybe he overheats himself. So I can shoot the things that stick out when he overheats himself for massive damage, is what they say. So let's continue doing that. Hey, there we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hitting that thing really hurt it. Yeah, it seems like it. Okay, he's, he's back to normal. He's back to normal. So let's uh, encourage him to be on fire, I guess. How about shooting right there? That seems good. That seems good. Right there. Right there. Yeah, it looks like he overheats himself purely by attacking. Oh, in fact, he's got the thing sticking out again, doesn't he? <laughs> Didn't even notice. There, got it. Cool. That yeah, was a lot easier than I was expecting. They do, because they have, like, 50 guns on them. Sure, right after I loot this gigantic gun. How come I can't use your guns? Maybe because they're bigger than my entire body. Seems like a good reason. Cool, 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 cool. Why does bone? <laughs> that thought got dark. I mean, a little bit. If if thinking about bones is enough to make you think that to, to make you sad, I guess. I mean, Aloy. I don't even know how many people you've killed at this point, so I feel like you'd probably have to go a little bit further to ha say that that thought got dark. Anyway, box. All right, cool. I've done enough looting. Let's see this focus. Sure. What we got? Oh, is this focus? I'll just rip it right off his head. Sure, why not? Yay! I've got it. Let's see what you have to say. Oh, let's. Oh, sure hope nobody... Oh. Attacks me while I'm reading this focus is what I was going to say. What is this? I don't know. Oh, hi, Hades. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Yeah. Unacceptable. I kind of thought you'd say that, I guess. Cool. So that's the Metal Devil, yeah? <laughs> Neat. Neat. What the hell was that? Hades? Yeah. Hey! M mysterious stranger, did you see that? Probably. No answer, huh? Figures. Dang it. Who's gone when I need him? Just keep getting stranger. It's true. Inside the tower, huh? Okay, where's the, where's the tower? There's the tower. Let's uh, try and go in through that big glowing area there. That seems like door-like, doesn't it? What what are you all... Why is the orchestra going nuts? What did I say? Seriously. The explosion already happened. Hades is gone. It's cool. It's cool. All right, all right. I'm just going to go in here. Better not creep up on me, you stinking orchestra. I can squeeze through. Of course. Because I'm like a teenager. Here, go through the track. <laughs> Yes. Wow, you can even rotate inside there? Man, you're slimmer than I thought. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, hi, are you Hades? Oh, I remember this. Yeah. I haven't gotten any more like that other person in the meantime, pretty sure. So... <laughs> I've only had two scans in my life, and they already make me sick, apparently. <laughs> hey, look. What? Profile confirmed. What? Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Please step inside. What, 99.47% accuracy is good enough for you? That's weird. You're weird. But thanks, I guess. Dr. Sobek. All right. Sure, let's just step in here. I'm sure it won't close behind me or anything. Okay, what do we got? It uh, definitely closed behind me, but hopefully it'll let me out when it feels like it. Search for information about Elizabeth Sobeck. Am I? Huh? Wow, he's gonna be mad. That's... Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. I mean, it seems like What's it. What's going on? What do you think is going on, Aloy? <laughs> it's a metal ruin. Of course it is. So Sobek is very dead at this point, unless she has ways of escaping mortality that I don't know about. What's that? I probably can scan it, huh? Nope. But I should probably be scanning more stuff, that's for sure. There's probably a lot to scan in here, I'm guessing. 
All right, let's just keep moving for now. Wow. Wow, is this... Was this an elevator once? Cool. Um... I like it better when it was an elevator. Well, I guess I, I have no idea. I've never used... I've never been here before. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Well, convenient that this door is open. I guess. Anybody home? Probably not, huh? Probably nobody's let, been let in here for a very long time on account of... You know, genetically speaking, they are not the person who... They are not me, is what I'm saying. They're not me. Um... Hmm. A lot of old machinery. Most of it seems to probably be not working. Also, Aloy probably would have no idea what to do with it, even if it were working. What is that? Looks like a letter. B. And a number... a bunch of numbers. And a number pad. Seems to be malfunctioning. Guess I won't worry about it. This way! Do I have a map for this place? I do. I do, and I missed a room. Hooray for somehow having a map! Thanks, Templeton. Appreciate it. That way? That way. Go in there. Probably secret stuff in here, I bet you. I bet you. Hey, 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 look, secret stuff! Entangled waveforms. Play that audio. Protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Uh -huh. Quantum encryption, black court stuff, way beyond military grade. You're just trying to be hard that's to understand. What you demanded. So that's what we delivered. Cool, thanks. You know, code something you can't crack. Okay. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You that easy, huh? specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Blackboard standard. Your words. Clients, am I right? Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the hearts, team, or swarm. And you have specifically forbade that. Did. You're asking the impossible. Maybe you shouldn't have lost control of it in the first place. They need Codes of some kind to control the machines. Seems like it. They got out of control. Yeah, no kidding. That's bad. Yeah, probably. What's this? Ooh, supplies. What? Modern machine parts. How are there modern? There's Ridgewood in here. How is there Ridgewood in here? I'm not going to question it. I already questioned it. I'm not going to question it further. Let's get out of here. Cool. 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 Uh, this way. This way. This way. Map. Did I miss anything? Nope. Cool. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Whoop. I suppose I probably shouldn't always be running, just in case there is something down here, even though it seems pretty unlikely. Which way? Hmm. Left first. Ah. There's an objective in there. Let me just make sure. Yeah, Pharaoh Automated Solutions. Gotcha. Oh, there's another exit over there. Gotcha. Okay. Well, let's go in here first. Hello. Oh, look, more supplies, I guess. Cool. Cool, yeah. Yeah, great. Well, I appreciate it and all, but all right. Whatever. Um, hmm. There's got to be something important in here, right? Wait. Where's the yellow square pointing me? Oh, it's upstairs. Oh, it's upstairs. There's an upstairs. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's right here. I can't get up there. I can't get up there. How do I get up there? Ah, yes, clamber on the equipment. That is the way to go, it seems. Yes, no, apparently not. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh, okay. Okay. No, but there's gotta be... There's gotta be something in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just break some equipment that's... I mean, there's nothing in here that's important, clearly. The whole place is frozen, and has been for, apparently, hundreds of years. Yeah? Neat. Alright, there's nothing in here. There's, there's a supply crate. I guess that was it. It's a little disappointing, but whatever. We keep moving. I'm over it. Huh? Statue of one, anyway. What? In there? Really? Oh. To kill. So it is. Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. Yeah, but it's With been a little while. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, uh -huh. Feral leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. It figures that this is the, the one thing that's still working. Consumer products close to home, like the Feral Focus. Oh, did you make these things? Yeah. Chariot line, huh? Oh yeah, you got that part down, for sure. Automated solutions. For every problem of life, 
a smart solution. Yeah, great. Thank you for the. So they made the focus. Seems like it. Twenty-five thousand people. That's bigger than a tribe. <laughs> I guess we don't really so do people in that quantity these days. Machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Most likely. Let's uh, let's listen to this thing here, shall we? Reception log. Yes. Um. Oh, I have to read it? Okay, I'll read it. I was expecting it to be an audio thing. All right, so let's see here. Reception log, July 7th, 2064. Oh, so not that far out. 9.54 a.m. Field commander dying of the... <laughs> did, I, did I pronounce your name right? Field com commandant, excuse me. Field commandant dying <laughs> of the Indo-Malay Agricultural T Combine arrived with his delegation. Refreshments to be served before their 10.15 a.m. sales presentation on the chariot line. Per instructions, food will be vegetarian only. 10.07 a.m. Sander Agnew, Vice President of Territor Territorial Integrity from Fresh Grounds Coffee Global <laughs> arrived with his entourage... Why? Wait a second. Territorial Integrity from Fresh Grounds Coffee... Man, is this, just, is this just a situation where, like, conglomerates have taken over every aspect of life at this point in society? Why is the t president of... T whatever. He's arrived with his entourage. Refreshments to be served before their 10.30 a.m. sales presentation on the chariot line. Per instructions, we'll use Fresh Grounds Tacoma Blend. No artificial, artificial creamers. 10.12 a.m. Uh, so that happened. Called security and janitorial to clean up the coffee that was spilled. Actually, more like thrown. I wasn't aware that the Indo-Malay Combine grows coffee beans, and that Fresh Ground's acquisition team has tried to take their fields by force repeatedly. I think Commandant Dying had Agnew by the hair for a second there. Who schedules these things? I'm going to drop the line to sales. This can't happen again. Okay, so this was just an anecdote. This was just a faux pas by meeting setups. I get it. I get it. Also, his name was Dying. <laughs> okay, okay, what am I doing here? Show me the map, please, thank you. Was that actually a ladder that I saw on the wall? Can I climb it? Ha ha! Nope! That's a ladder for tiny people who can merge their fingers into the wall, so let's not worry about that. Um, this way, I suppose? What was this place? Well, I mean, the, per the, the voice just said. It was a corporation. Oh, hi again. People, not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. I got that impression. Yeah, go on. Please. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. Cool. Reading. All right. Sure. I guess this is going to be a reading epi episode. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see here. Elizabeth Sobeck. This is Sobeck. This seems relevant. Okay. Elizabeth Sobeck, born March 11th, 2020, is an American scientist, roboticist, and engineer, widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. Born and raised outside Carson City, Nevada, she enrolled at Stanford University, age 13. Okay. Cool. So she's a doctor. She completed her, yeah, 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 PhD of robotics and artificial intelligence design. Cool. That's a, that's a thing. Um, chief scientist is 22. Green robot designs play a vital role in realizing the environment, cleanup, and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade. So we have that to look forward to. Um, life positive robotics, other technologies, one of the world's largest suppliers of green robots, winning numerous awards and accolades, including the Nobel Peace Prize for Physics and the Rachel Carson Award for Mind Mental Project. Good, cool, 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 cool. Good job, Elizabeth Sorbeck. So you're partially responsible for this whole situation, is what we're what we're seeing here. Um, okay. Uh, Ted Farrow. Okay, American entrepreneur, business magnate. He's already alive, apparently. Founder of the Farrow Automated Solutions, the largest corporation of all time, and the world's wealthiest individual. First ever trillionaire. Neat. Salt Lake City, Utah. Studied business for two years. Dropped out. Started fast. Uh, okay, popular line of personal servitors and bodyguard bots. Exploded, probably literally, when the famous line of green robots led to race called the climate crisis. Clawback. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Cool, he's the world's best-known businessman. Uh, this was all written before the apocalypse, I assume. Okay, FAS, the uh, multinational corporate entity, produce robots, doop-a-doo, military defense contracts, okay. The Alfred, with an at, at, Atelfred? Maybe, probably just Alfred. Okay, and they, they have Sobek on board, yes, yes, yes. Ted Farrow, hailed across media and social networks, the man who saved the world. Funny how they just forgot to mention Sobek inventing the robots and all that. Never mind. 61% um, of the market share from automated military platforms. Okay. 
It says today it's holding the seed such and such, but I don't know when today is, so that's neat. A definition of what a corporation is? Yeah, okay, I think Aloy needs that, but I feel like I'm good. Thanks. Uh, I know about that already. Yeah, cool, cool. Well, that, that, that's all caught up. That's great. Thanks, mysterious voice. I, uh, I understand. Okay, um, hmm, I've gotten a bit turned around, it turns out. I'm facing the wrong way. This way! This way into the unknown! Uh, any more data points? Bunk beds? Sure. Six. Ah, and there's stairs, so maybe... I can't, can I go this way? I can go this way. Um, hmm. This looks a lot like that other room I was just in, where all there was was a resource box, and that was it. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. That's what I'm all looking for. What we got? Library tooling. Play that audio data point. This must seem like a oh, it's Ted Farrow. Direction. Hello. I mean, with Farrow automated solutions, right? You have an odd, in interesting accent. In the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? Maybe because the robots are rebelling. All I can say at this juncture is. Trust me. Cool. We'll be exploiting That's massive, useful. Uh, growth opportunity by uh -huh. retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. Right. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. Sure. So they were making machines when they stopped to make other kinds of weapons. Why? Because the robots were suddenly no longer reliable? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I'm jumping to conclusions. I just, I know the ending, see, so I'm predicting it at every single turn. It's easy to do that when you're already living, living a post-apocalyptically. Yeah, I, I thought I said that wrong, but I said it correctly. Post-apocalyptically, yes. Post-apocalypticals. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. Yeah, it's a robotics facility for you. I guess if they're not even running oil-based robots, that's probably the case. Um... Hmm. Hmm. This way? Given that it's the only way to go? Wait, what's that over there? Is that anything? It's a little crack. It's too tight for alloys, apparently. Can I look through it? Uh. Uh. Nope, I can just make it real zoomy. Doesn't do nothing. Okay. Stop beating around the bush. Go on. But I could get through. That's generally what you do. Oh, look, a complaint. Re-complaint. I reply to the complaint. Very good. Hey, receptionist, if that... Oh, it's from Jay Fried, Friedkin. Friedkin. Hey, receptionist, if that is your real name. Want to know who's bet scheduled into Malay right next to Fresh Grounds? That would be me, Senior VP of Sales. Want to know why? After that little hair-pulling incident, both sides increased their bids by 40%. I'll explain. Because your receptionist-level brain probably requires it. Those two sides are fighting. And what do we sell? That's right, combat machines. We want them to hate each other. So they will try to fight each other with what? That's right again, combat machines. Which they will pay us a lot of money for. So I suggest you go back to serving coffee with a blank smile and let me do my much more complicated job. Thanks a bunch, Mr. Fr Friedkind, you. Yeah, at least this guy's dead. You know? So he's got that going for him. Seems like that's about all he had going for him. That and a lot of money. Alright, this way. Oh, this cave in isn't even that hard to navigate, I guess. Yep. Just wander on through. It's nice that they left the door open. Um. I'm not missing anything, right? Probably not. Probably not. Whoa! Okay, cool. That's a thing. Go! Oh, ha! <laughs> Alright. Neat. Well, I guess... Let's just hope it's okay that I'm down here now. Oh, there's a ladder up and everything. Well, that's convenient. Cool. Let's just keep working our way down then. Oh, look, a ramp and everything. I can use that as a ramp to get back up. I'd imagine. I'd imagine you can. What's this? What are you? Hollow projector. Activate. Sure, why not? Poke it. See what happens. Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions. Oh, this again? All the problems of Wait. Oh, am I just in the lobby again? Dang it! Shush, 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 shush. Yeah, okay. Cool. Cool. So, the I needed to take the ladder. That's... Looks got like it. Yeah, it sure does. On account of there's a ladder. Alright. What's this? You look like a lift. Are you a lift? Can I activate you? Sure doesn't seem like it. I'm a little duck. A little bit duck. Where, where am I going? I need to go up. I need to go up. How do I up? Can't climb that. Uh... 
No, drop the ledge isn't productive. Um, is there like some handholds I'm not seeing? Is that a handhold? No, oh, that's a ladder. That's not what I meant. I meant that there. Can I just? I can. Hooray! Cool. So that's why Aloy specifically mentioned she could climb here, because there is there is like creative climbing to be done. Okay, sure. Supplies. Cool. Whatever. Um, not a door. Very good. Very good. Um, I seem to have returned to being stuck. Can I go up here? Nope. Is this just a side route? A side route for resources? I really didn't need more Ridgewood is the thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's try jumping over there. Uh, okay. That's, ha that's not working. Yeah, that's not working at all. Cool. Cool. Alright. Can I get back up here? Nope. Oh, but I suppose if I if I climb up the ladder... I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry I'm stuck. I would like to be not stuck. I really, really would. I could jump on top of the... that fella down there. It's just a hollow projector. Sure, 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 sure. Cool, cool. Sure, sure. Oh! Oh! Oh, I see it now. Oh, I see it now. I see it now. Ha ha! There we go. It's just old, and so the yellow has faded to orange, and so I wasn't expecting the Spanish Inquisition. Here we go. This is the place. This is the place. Sure did. Where did I make it exactly? I'm trying to get to Dr. Pharaoh's. Mr. Pharaoh's? Mr. Pharaoh's, right. Dr. Sobek, Mr. Pharaoh. Funny about that. Um, is this his office? Looks like the way up. What's left of it? It sure does. So let's check out this floor first. You know, completion's sake and all that. Uh, that almost looked like something I could scan, but it turns out no. What's this? What's what's this? Still sort of working. What if I stand in it? Are you a table? It might be a ta no. It's not a table. My feet go right through it. I don't know. I don't know. They just like glowing lights around here. Glowing lights that seem to remain active in per perpetuity. Must have some pretty good energy systems around here, considering. All right. There's got to be something in here, right? There's got to be like a data file or something. What's that? Oh, hollow projector. Heck yeah. Let's do it. What do you got for me, a hollow? The BOR7 Horus. Uh huh. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high speed learning machine network. Oh, that can't Whether backfire. Your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection. Mm hmm. The Horus' onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Or can order its own Simply arms. Define your force parameters. And the Horus will fabricate additional units oh, to fill the ranks for it creates per unit it, it creates machines. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of it's a cauldron. line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready. It's a cauldron. Extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan class platform. Why did we That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. Yeah. The future of automated warfare. Okay, okay, okay. Enough with the enough with the uh, jingle lines. Got it, got it. So why did we start calling them cauldrons? If it calls itself Horus, I mean, sure, we don't hear a lot of automated machine voices. We're kind of forbidden from doing that sort of thing usually, unless you're me. But how? Where did we get the name cauldron? I don't, I don't understand. Uh, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Keep moving. Doesn't seem like there is any data files in there, and I've probably done enough reading as it is. So let's uh, let's get clambering. Let's get clambering. All right, right up here, right up there. Yes, got it. Very convenient how this all worked out. And there's even a ladder. How nice. Okay, keep going. I guess. Cause I don't seem to see any doors that would. Okay. Be a long way up. Mm-hmm. Frozen metal most of the way. We're still going up. Easy, Doctor Sobek. I mean, she's pretty dead, so we can't really blame her too much. Metal shards. That was quite a lot of them, actually. That's more than I get from defeating most machines. Can find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too. That's the way to think about it. Think like a plant. A very, very active plant. With, like, a vengeance mission. Wait, there's an up and there's a... There's an up and there's a sideways. Does the up actually continue? It does. Okay. So, I guess we check out sideways first. You know. Again, with the... Don't miss anything. Keep me alert. I guess that's true. Oh, this is just another way up. So are you telling me that if I go the other way, it's not going to work out? Is that the idea? All right, well, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. See what we got. Maybe it, maybe it dead ends. Nope. Seems to be going up just fine. 
So what's the deal? Why are there two routes to get up here? Which one's the real way? Um... Down here? Down seems like the wrong direction to go, huh? But hey, what we got? That looks like a voice recorder, probably. Sure is. Regarding the rumors, partial corruption. Oh, Pharaoh again. Hi. Offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Okay. Is that all you got? That I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated. This guy likes his long pauses, doesn't he? The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Robot now, rebellion. I can absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. <laughs> How did that work out for you, Ted? Talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come. Maybe hundreds of years. We will get past this. Uh huh. The day's coming when none of this will matter. I guess uh, that's possible. That's what they call their machines. Well, you know. Not peace. Yeah, no kidding. We make that particular mistake a lot, it turns out. Um, this feels dead endy. That's a disappointment. No, don't fall off. Don't fall off of there. I really don't see anything to clamber upon. Sorry, Aloy, I hate to be hesitating when we're in the middle of a really, really cold place, but uh, where, what did I do? I've jumped into the wall. Great, cool. Um... I'm not missing anything, am I? Should I just go down here? I can go down here. Ah, okay. That's a box that I haven't seen, so that's probably progress. Cool. Let's go this way. Follow the wires, I guess. Yeah, yeah, this looks good. Jump for it! Oh, no! Oh, okay, okay, that worked out fine. Thank goodness that other thing was there and Aloy saw it, because I sure didn't. Hey, what's your deal, man? That's a text thing. All hands on deck. You got it. Let's see, let's see. Oh, look, I've missed it. I've missed one. Dang it, I missed one. Dang it, Gordon Nakata. Okay, Gina. Ever hear of the Melville Island Fruit Association? Neither had I, until they filed suit against us this morning. Apparently, there's a little island paradise off the coast of Australia, population 2,700, all of whom hate us. Now that a stray hearts Timor unit is chowing down on their largest mango orchard, why would it, why would it be eating, why would it be eating orchard, uh, an orchard? That brings the official count of heart Timor related lawsuits to 127, most of them from private companies, but also a bunch of individuals, nation states, and NGOs, whatever that means. And that's not even counting the mother of all liability claims from hearts itself. Every, call every external firm we've ever used, then call their competitors. We're going to need every corporate defense lawyer we can find who's still half sober and on the bar. Gordon Nakata. And then it stopped mattering because everybody died. Well, not everybody, but most people died. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. All right. Let me just hurl my body around here. Cool. Nice that they have these little extra bars for when you flub the jump and you don't want to fall the way down. That was nice of them. Maybe there was a lot of corporate parkour going on at FAS. Wait a second. Wait a second. I feel like I've been here before. No, this is different. This is different, so maybe we're okay. Because this is different. Okay. So that other route that I skipped down there, that must have been the way to get the last text file that I missed. Cool. Text file's all over the place in here. Maybe I'll go back and look for it later, but uh, not right now. A little busy. This is a long way up. This didn't look so tall from the outside. Maybe I just wasn't looking at it right. I'm not used to dealing with structures this large. Aside from the spire by uh, Meridian, we're nowhere near that place, of course. Uh, yeah, I don't need four rocks, Aloy. It's cool. Uh, did I miss... What's that? What's that? Supply crate. Nobody cares. Okay. Okay. I've started running a lot, see, and I was kind of worried that I would have skipped something important. But I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we're good. What? That's another supply crate. It's on the other side of a wall. Why are you raining on me? It's like freezing cold and snowy. Stop raining on me. This is not cool. Uh, it's, I mean... Yeah, jokes. Temperature-related jokes. Um, that way? That way. Go that way. Okay, sure. Oh, now I can get to the box. Great, great. Just stuck under these icicles. Nothing can go wrong, go. Health potions, that's pretty nice of them. Surprising they knew how to make modern health potions. They probably had way better health potions, I would have thought. But hey, what's this? Band of Sea Incident. Sure. 
Why? Oh, it's the one I missed. Great. Cool. Stacy Andrews to Robert Rescher. Bob, another problem to add to our big steaming pile. Apparently, a fisherman in the Band of Sea captured video of Hart's Timory Horse unit refueling bio via biomatter conversion along the shoreline of Pulau Wittar on a pod of endangered dolphins, no less, quite possibly the less of their kind. Not to get graphic, but it looks like what happened inside a blender. As if the robot was whipping up a big pink swirling milkshake of dolphin chum. Our suppression team has scrubbed it from 3043 networks, but it's still propagating, so it's only a matter of time before it goes viral. A prepared statement feels grossly insufficient. Any suggestions? This one's a real stinker. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. So were the, uh, were the, uh, propagation units mobile at one point? Because they seem pretty stationary now. They just kind of generate their big layer around them and then fill it with machines slowly and surely cool All it takes is a few good handholds a few good handholds made out of freezing metal right. made it. I sure did what, we'll what indeed um let's see yeah, let's go over here hello uh. anybody home I would certainly hope not is that a thing that needs to be overridden oh I don't have access that's fair I bet that's the elevator down or something huh Okay, cool. What's this? Examine. All data has been erased from this device. You have the silliest you voice. To to data. I mean, can I? Yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. Cool. A file. What file? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Cool. Nice of you to put it on the table for whoa. Hi, Dr. Sobek. Good to uh oh. it's been years. Where's Very cold. Your legal team, Ted? Where Tony, indeed? I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms this. Lawsuits against her? All right, this promises to be interesting. You sound a lot like me, by the way. I have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. Uh-huh. So spit it out. There's a glitch. In the chariot line. You're a killer glitch. robots. Peacekeepers, yes, those. So shut them down. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would if we could. But this is the no whole. Responding. Are you mm. telling me the a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? Right. The it's unbreakable security and such. <sighs> Show me the data then. Oops. Sorry about that. And I'll take that lunch alone. Very cold. Completely, uh, completely reasonable, though. But they hated each other. Yeah, they sure did. But... Oh, well, that's convenient timing. Okay, sure. How did you... How did it get there? Did it just pop up out of nowhere? Sure. isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. No doubt. It's bad. Yeah. Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. I can vouch for this. a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. Yeah, they sure that kept that piece. Biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Yeah, good job. Good idea. Uh-huh. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, Funny you about that. Them. Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the earth bare in 15 months. Pink smoothies. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. Pretty much. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. What do you expect her to do? I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. Cool. So this guy caused the apocalypse. Robots threatened all life on Earth. Uh huh. But somehow she defeated them. I guess. The old ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. Yeah, apparently. It was just a. Uh... Oh, geez, another one. Okay, okay, okay. What we got? Project Zero Dawn. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, Liz. Are you sitting? There has to be another way. Are you standing Is in the table? A way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this. What? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. Worse than extinction? It's Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Okay. I'll sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. 
You yes, kind of have to. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. Stop saying that. Tell you me what it is. Choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to US Oh, it's a hologram. It's a hologram. That's where she's in the table. I get it. In 15 minutes, I it's a double General hologram. Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. Huh? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Ooh, blackmail. But well-meaning blackmail. Jesus. You don't have to threaten me. I mean, she kind of does. You just said you wouldn't do the I'll thing sign. you said you'd do. Neat. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. One last low blow. Good times. God nice. Forgive me. Nice that his chair survived, I guess. Well, okay. Made her so terrible. That's what I want to know! Why do they keep calling it that? Executive access detected. Indeed, it's just a fast route out. Well, this one's gone on long enough. We found out some answers, but not enough for my tastes. Also, there seems to be a way to get up there. So I'm probably going to try and get up there, and we'll see if there's anything up there. But I will do it next time, so thank you for watching. I have so many questions. I bet I won't get them answered for a while. But I'll still see you next time. Bye.